high fashion with high ideals. On this catwalk, raincoats made from umbrellas are paired with trousers made from curtain fabric. Hong Kong designer Jesse Lee wants his designs to be stylish yet sustainable. <laughs> I'm thinking how, what, like, what design can I collaborate with those like old materials I can reuse and upcycling them to a, like adorable pieces. Lee is part of a growing movement seeking to reduce fashion's impact on the environment. Hong Kong is famous for its glitzy shopping, but sends 343 tons of textile to landfill every day. K Wong organizes clothes mending workshops in the hope that instead of throwing out that faded pair of jeans, Hong Kongers will pick up a needle and thread. In the current era, fast fashion makes people dispose of their clothes so easily because clothes are too cheap and it seems to cost nothing to toss out the old ones. Fashion Clinic hopes to encourage people to treasure what they have as the resources on the earth are limited. For those taking part, it's not only an alternative to retail therapy, but an opportunity to learn new skills. Jack brought in a pair of jeans with tears at the crotch and pocket, and now they're almost as good as new. The patches look like new embellishments. I like it. Although they're not very nicely made, it's more precious, as I made it myself. But to really tackle the problem, there'll need to be industrial-scale solutions, particularly as mainland China is now refusing to import most waste from elsewhere. In October, a new spinning mill goes into operation in the city, which will transform old clothes into fresh yarn. There may be a long way to go, but Hong Kongers are learning to be both fashion-conscious and eco-conscious.